So this is a small town in Silicon Valley that a lot of the locals don't even know about. We're here in Alviso. I'm with Sean Clover, and uh, he's an amateur Silicon Valley historian. We're here to grab some lunch at Maria Elena's. It's kind of the hot spot for all the people in the networking industry, and I thought we'd grab a bite to eat and then check Alviso out. So we're in Alviso, and there's another town near here called Drawbridge. Drawbridge began back in the late 1800s. There was a man who sat out there and tended to the drawbridge. He would just sit out and drink whiskey as the steam trains went by, and <laughs> sooner or later, a few of his friends would join him in the whiskey drinking, and it kind of turned into a small town after that. So these towns were sort of like booming during the 1800s. Basically, they extended the railroad to San Francisco, and then Alviso changed what it was famous for, and so they got into gambling, and they got into prostitution, and they got That's into right. hunting. It became like the seedy side of Silicon Valley. We're here, which is across the street from Maria Elena's, and then B is Drawbridge. It's about two and a half miles out of town, right along the railroad tracks, and Drawbridge actually sits out on the island where you see B up there. Which one's the cannery? The cannery is 14. The cannery's right. Right over here. So that was like the spot in Alviso that sort of made the town what it is, more or less. I mean, that's where the action happened, right? That's right. <laughs> this is the famous Alviso cannery, which has obviously seen better days. This is where asparagus happened, people. It's kind of falling down over there and, and, and yeah, over there. And it's a, but it is a historic site. Yeah, this cannery dates back to the 1800s. It was a sleepy little cannery. It went on to become the third largest cannery in the United States. But we might be able to like push it over. <laughs> so we can hear the trains in the background back in the days. That's where the cans would get loaded up to, and that's kind of what made Alviso what it is. Yep. Nowadays, the trains come right through, and you see how fast they're going. They don't even stop. The ghost town of Silicon Valley.